The United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres arrives in Meduguri, the Borno state capital, on Tuesday afternoon as part of a two day official visit to Nigeria. Received by the governor of Borno state, Babagana Zulum, as well as other government officials, the UN scribe proceeds to visit internally displaced persons at the camps. He also interacts with surrendered fighters and victims of Boko Haram insurgency. The United Nations chief illuminates his thoughts of Borno in a joint media conference. For him, this is a visit of solidarity with the victims of terrorism as he seeks solutions in the holy month of Ramadan. Let's do what we have to do about humanitarian support to these camps, but let's try to find a solution for people. Yes, solution is to create the conditions, the security conditions, the development conditions for them to be able to go back home in safety and dignity. And the appeal I heard in the meeting I had with the, with the displaced people was exactly, what we want is to go back. We don't want to live here. But having said so, when, I don't know if you were there, but when I went around with the, the thousands and thousands of people that were there, I saw smiles, I saw enthusiasm, I saw hope. And this is where we must invest. Appealing to the international community to understand Borno State from a different perspective, the UN chief asserts that the menace of terrorism can be tackled from the root cause. The way to address terrorism effectively is to provide not only hope, but a future of reality. I want to appeal strongly to the international community to understand Borno. I will be your advocate, Mr. Governor, your advocate within the international community, asking the international community to support and to invest in the Borno of hope. The UN Secretary General continues his two-day visit on Wednesday as he is scheduled to meet with the President, Mohamed Buhari, as well as the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibaju. As he interfaces with youths as well as women and religious leaders across the country, many hope that this visit, which is his first to Nigeria since his appointment, will translate into bigger gains for the country. Gloria Umezuke, Channels Television News.